Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'd like to show you now my Ottoman Turkish army. This is from the ancient period, quite late, so between the years about 1400 and 1500 AD. These troops are the Kapakulu, and they were the household troops of the Ottoman Empire at the time. On campaign, they would deploy around the position of the Sultan. I've depicted them here on barded horses. Uh, they are the best equipped of the troops available to the Sultan. These Kapakuli figures are from Essex miniatures, as indeed is the majority of the army. Next we have the Sipahis. These were raised by a system similar to the feudal system in the West. Um, and in exchange for a grant of land, the holder was required to perform military service. The Sipahi are made up from Essex miniatures. A couple of things about these. Uh, these are very heavy and a very soft metal, so the army weighs a lot to carry around and is prone to having spears and uh, bows bent just by knocking them. The third component of the mounted part of the army were the Akinjis. These were light horse archers. They were raised as required and they weren't paid, they were expected to fund themselves through the booty they raised from pillaging and raiding. These figures again are from Essex, um, and some of them I've just bought and painted because I didn't have enough in the army for a project I got in mind. Um, it was quite interesting to see how my style of painting has changed since I first did them. Beyond the Akinji, the Ottomans could always call on a whole host of other light horse. So we have some Turkmans here. And some of the light horse they could call on were armed with lances as well as bows. A large part of the foot component of an Ottoman army made up of ASAPs. These were recruited specifically for a campaign. They weren't uniformly equipped or armed, but a lot of them, the majority of them perhaps, had bows. And they could either use mass shooting or skirmishing tactics. We use Dixon miniature figures for the skirmishing ASAPs, and they have a very different style from Essex miniatures. The most recognisable part of an Ottoman army is probably the Janissaries. Um, and here we have the Janissary Corps for this army. I've painted them in uniform and in blue, uh, but it now seems perhaps that they weren't uniformed and they had a whole variety of colours other than blue, so perhaps a little bit out of date according to the latest research. And attached to every Ottoman army there were very low quality levies. Here they are. The Ottomans were exponents of the use of artillery in warfare. 
and a artillery park was quite a common feature of an Ottoman army on campaign. The army made use of war wagons, and this pair are from Redoubt, I think. They're absolutely enormous, um, and realistically, they would need at least another three pairs of oxen to pull something that size. Their main purpose is to be used as baggage. And finally we have the generals. Um, I'm not sure of all these manufacturers. The pair in the middle are from Warlord Games. I think the pair on the left are from Essex. Uh, but I can't remember where the, the guy in the green coat on the right comes from. Well, that's the end of my showcase of my Ottoman army. I hope you've enjoyed it.